Keep it down over there! Bastards! Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow alcoholics, welcome to New Year's Eve Eve. Then again, technically, you can call it what, January 1st, New Year's Eve Eve times 10 to the. Anyways, I don't know scientific notation. All I know is this shirt is uh, awfully tight for some reason. Maybe I am eating too much. Anyway, <laughs> little uh, internal dilemma, uh, a freak out aside. <laughs> Yep, so today, actually it's been technically two days. Again, I, since we last talked, there we go, I went gambling and lost $100. I mean, I, I'm 31 black. No, anyways, no. I uh, went out on the first night here because I wasn't sure if, you know, my uh, brother and them would want to go out to this trip and this is my once a year on the strip or in Vegas in general. So I went to the strip, walked around, got me a glass, it's over there, a daiquiri. It comes with a free little plastic thing. It's very nice, except for, you know, the daiquiri logo on it. <laughs> but yeah, so it's nice. I actually have a cup I can use here. Uh, anyways, got some daiquiri. All the tables were pretty full for a random Tuesday. So I just sat, uh, went to the Cosmo and threw down $100 on a slot machine and lost. So... Anyways, got a uh, Uber ride back home, and that's pretty much it. Today, though, uh, or, yeah, uh, was the second day? Yeah, second day of the tournament. So I've actually... Wait a minute, second day? Yeah, second. How many days have I been here? I'm losing track of time. Anyways, so I saw uh, my niece play twice, and, you know, so they won both games, so they're in the winner's bracket. So tomorrow, they get to play again. And then they play one more time, or two more times, depending on win or loss. So, whew, that's my schedule. Just a lot of going here, hanging out with my brother. They uh, uh, rented an Airbnb, so they're in a house proper. But again, this is actually a really nice place. It has a full oven. I should have realized I had a full oven before I went shopping. I could have got so many, well, probably just pizza. Again, Papa Murphy's or some frozen one that you actually cook in the oven. Anyways, so enough of that. Again, I haven't really done much. Tomorrow might be where we do more stuff. Like I said, just had lunch with uh, my brother. Then we saw the game and then went back, had dinner. So tomorrow uh, we might head out and do some random stuff to kill time. Because again, the game is going to be at 2 o'clock. Have the rest of the day to do nothing. So the real killing time comes if they win on the last day and then go to the championship game. So there's, there'd be like several hours there of waiting because we'll be checked out by then. So not only will we have to kill time, but we can't, you know, kill time in a hotel room. That sounds dirty, but mm, we can't go home and take a nap is what I'm saying. So, <sighs> but yeah, like I said, for not doing much, I do feel tired. So, but again, it is exciting to watch. Just, again, it's, you know, just watching someone you help raise to, again, play sports well. So, very proud. So, but yeah, so today's just been kind of a lazy, lazy day. I kind of was hoping to go take some footage with this guy over, there's a mesa nearby in the park where you park, walk, and stuff like that. But at last, I forgot to bring a SD card, and that's my excuse it's not that I didn't even try. I'm just saying I didn't have an SD card, so, oh well. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot, uh, and I didn't even try, but luckily if I did, I wouldn't have an SD card, so works out for work. So, let's continue on. This has been, what, four minutes of me stretching out this shirt. Why? This shirt used to be so big. Now, I know I'm getting fat, but I'm not getting that fat. I might need to check out my dryer. It might be overheating my clothes because this is cotton. I know this is 100% cotton, so it's probably shrinking. Anyways, enough of that. So today we have these two. Two days left. Note, the lesser alcohol one, this one, is 40% or 50%. I'll find out later. 99. So regardless, I'm going to have some high content alcohol. Now, there's only two left. I do have a coin flipper app on my phone, but... Today, I have the analog. 
yeah, I actually had to pay cash for something. So I actually have cash for once. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know what to do now. I actually have to move. There we go. And it landed in tails. So I should have declared which was which first. But again, I have a set of rules for gambling. This is a way. This is home. This is tails. This is heads. So it's this. And again, shooting out of the uh, Pioneer Saloon one. Anyways, this is, and that's why I have this guy here, 99 proof or 99 brand coconuts, which is 99 proof, 49.5% alcohol by volume. So this is technically a liqueur, a strong gas liqueur, which again is 10%, give or take, stronger than this. So actually that means it's for sure tomorrow I'm drinking some, yeah, saving the world wars for last. I'm not a big fan of uh, Scottish whiskey. I mean, I don't mind it, and hopefully I'll find one that I like. Anyways, on to today's. Speaking of coconut, I had um, a lovely coconut pie for uh, Christmas dinner. So, again, trying to open myself up to stuff that I usually try not to eat as kids was coconuts. I'm never a big fan, but, you know, might as well try. Anyways, it pours completely clear. There's no really thickness to it. It smells like... Wow. Actually, well, it smells like coconut and it doesn't. What I mean is there's a subtle hint of coconut, but it's a faint smell. I mean, I can't even smell the alcohol. Can I smell anything? No, I can smell it there. Anyways, I waste too much time on the smell. It does nail what I can smell. It smells a bit fiberish, like the coconut. Again, if you ever had like dry coconut or the little shavings next to you. That's what it smells like. Why is this shirt so... <sighs> I know, again, I'm getting fat, but I'm not getting that fat. <sighs> Anyways, here's to <laughs> losing money in Vegas. That's why Vegas can pay the electric bill. Cheers. <sighs> Cheers. Smooth. <laughs> that was weird. <sighs> that is warm. Mm. Uh, yeah, anyways, as I wipe the coconut scented rubbing alcohol, a mm. uh, coconut balm is what that was. So it goes in, you have that coconut, but there's something in the coconut flavor that just gives away ooh, to warmth, alcohol warmth. So again, goes in as a coconut taste, explodes into alcohol warmth. Just flush cheeks, flush ears, flush everything. So again, it was just that instant, oops, sorry, hit of warmth. So again, there is a good tasting coconut in there if you like to taste coconut, but dear Lord, did it just give away Again, like if you actually put a little TNT in a coconut, like it's not going to keep that explosion. It's going to release. So that alcohol warmth just flooded every orifice, well, headwise. So, mm. as, as it went down, again, it's like that leftover evaporation was even more alcohol warmth. So, it's only after it's all settled down. <sighs> there we go that you finally taste the coconut truly. So, uh, again, kind of like if you blew up a coconut, I'm pretty sure the air would have this smell of the mist of coconut that you released. Anyway, it is quite late, so I shouldn't do this too much longer. So, whew, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. By the time that video comes out, I should be in Phoenix. So, I will probably won't take this shot live on camera. I'll do one last video, and then I'll do a live stream around New Year's, hopefully. Or maybe, I don't know, I'm torn. 
do I go out and drink or do I do a live stream? Kind of rather do a live stream because again, it's so <sighs> busy during New Year's. So anyways, more likely for sure though, there will be a 31st video release probably about noon if I edit in time and it will be this one and I'll probably be here. So, or I could wait to do that when I get home on the 30th. So that way I can show you my trip back home. I don't know, playing everything by ear, but for sure we know it's this shot tomorrow. So all that aside, got my little tree up, almost forgot it. <laughs> so thanks again for watching. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully you have a great New Year's Eve and hopefully we can enter tomorrow or the next day with a happy, happy new year. We'll see. Until then, see you next time. Bye.